Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. So um, hopefully if you're already subscribed you've already seen my pregnancy announcement video. I'll leave that link below if you haven't. And if you're new here, my name is Holly and I'm 29 years old and I've already got a four year old little girl called Isabel. And I've recently found out that I'm pregnant with baby number two. Um, so I'm not sure when this video is going to be going live because obviously I would like to wait until the 12 week scan to make sure that everything was okay, fingers crossed. Um, but yeah, I thought I'd make this video today. I'm currently five, uh, sorry, four weeks and five days pregnant. Um, just going by my the date of my last period, I'll be turning like a new week every Sunday, so on Sunday. Um, I will be five weeks. It's the 17th of May 2019 now and I found out I was pregnant on the 13th. So Monday just gone and um, it's Friday today. So in this video I'm just going to talk about like the symptoms that I've been having up until now and especially during the two week wait um, which is like from when you ovulated until like you're due to come on because I did have a couple of symptoms in that time while I was waiting to take a test but um I'll show you the test first so the first I've taken quite a few like just to be sure the first one I took was just this B&M bargains one and um, I think they're like £1.49 for a two pack the clear and simple ones so on Friday um Friday the 10th I've put the date on here I did when I wasn't due to come on my period till Sunday, but this pack does say you can test four days early. Um, but at the time of taking this test, um, nothing came up that I could see. So, like, I didn't really think too much of it. I thought, like, I don't know. Basically, I knew it probably wouldn't show up even if I was pregnant, but because I had the test, so I just thought I'd take one. But um, yeah, so I did that at, on the 10th of May in the morning with my first, no, that was the afternoon, yeah. I used my afternoon wee as well, which isn't the worst, but um, yeah, so I just kind of put the test to the side and then on Sunday, when my period was due, I still hadn't come on. <clears throat> and I re-looked at this test. I don't know if it's gonna show up, but, when I re-looked, like two days later, I could see like the faintest, faintest line, but because it'd been two days, I was like, um, I'm not really going to read it too much into it because obviously you're not supposed to look at a test like after the allocated developing time because you can get like evaporation lines and stuff. So, um, which I'd actually had happen before to me, like in previous months of trying um so like I didn't want to get my hopes up about seeing like the tiniest line so yeah on Monday the next day when I still hadn't come on I took another test so that was the other test from the two pack the spare one I had so on the 13th of May I took another one and I took it at a.m. with my first morning wee um, and if you can see on this one, like a definite more distinguished line came up, but again, I still was like, mm, don't know, could it be? Like looking at it now, like it's quite obvious that it was positive, but I was like, mm, I don't know, I don't know what to think. So I waited till um, when my little girl went to nursery, she goes to nursery in the afternoon, and um, once I dropped her off, I drove to B&M and then I bought a clear blue test instead. Um, so I took that in the afternoon then. And again, you can see the line there. I will tell you though, that when I took this test, the line was very bold and prominent and like it came up immediately and it was like a really obviously obvious strong positive. But I think the, fa the test has already like faded a bit. But I'll insert a picture of what it did look like, like literally just as I took it and it was very obviously like really bold and very positive. <clears throat> so yeah, I also bought these tests which are the same 
make as the B&M bargains, the clear and simple, but these are like the ones you pee on and these are the ones that you just dip. So I got two positives, I don't know if you can see. Got two lines, faint, but two lines on that one also. So yeah, what's that? One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five tests later. Um, I was pretty sure that I was um pregnant. <clears throat> and as I say, it's the 17th now and I'm still not on my period. So yes, I am definitely pregnant. Um, I'm booked in to see a midwife on Tuesday now. Um, where I think they will like obviously confirm the pregnancy and just like take details off me and like kind of get the ball rolling. Um, I'm not sure when I see a midwife again after this appointment. Um, I know I was when I was eight weeks pregnant when I was pregnant with Isabel. I had my first midwife appointment, so um, yeah, I might be seeing her again at eight weeks. Um, but yeah, so. The, the tests, um, I'll go into the symptoms that I had before I got my positive test. So the very first symptom I had, which might not be a symptom at all, like I, this could have happened anyway, but um, I do think in my case it was, is I had a cold, which um, it can be a pregnancy symptom, obviously, like when you get pregnant, your immune system, like very early days, your immune system is down because obviously all your like nutrients and everything is going in to like get the ball rolling of creating this embryo or whatever you want to call it. Um, so you are very susceptible to getting colds like right at the start. So feel out of breath already, which isn't one I've experienced yet, but feel out of breath talking now <clears throat> so yeah i had a cold which obviously i didn't think anything of i just thought i had a cold but looking back i do think it was because my immune system was down at that point um and then i did have sore boobs um about a week before i was due on my period which is completely normal for me so i just put it down to like my normal pre period like boob tenderness but I noticed about three like three days before I took the positive test that they were like extra sore like a lot more sore than they would be normally from just um my period so that was another symptom for me also um the weekend before I took the positive test because I had my positive on the Monday so that weekend before um, I was really, really tired and I actually like dozed in the like late afternoon um, on both on the Saturday and the Sunday, which isn't like me at all. Like I do get tired because obviously with a four year old, um, but not to the point where I'm like dozing off. So that that was like new for me as well. Um, the like extra tiredness and <clears throat> another thing that I experienced. I can't remember what day it was now, um, but I was laying in bed, I think it was in the afternoon, I think as well was in nursery, and um, I could feel like a really strange like pulling sensation, like really down low in my uterus, I guess. Um, it wasn't like a cramping, it wasn't like the cramps I get like before I start my period, it was like this really strange just like a pulling down feeling, which I've never had before. I don't remember having that with Isabel when I was pregnant with her. But um, as you do when you're like trying to conceive, like you Google every symptom going. So I Googled that symptom and that came up like quite a lot that people had experienced that and it was like the implantation happening. So um, yeah, that was quite weird. Um, I also had some cramps, which I'm still having now, but um, I'm trying not to worry too much about that because I know it can be normal in the early stages. Um, so yeah, I had a few cramps like in the front and in my lower back as well. 
um, and then a few like random sharp stabbing pains like on one side again um, I've googled all this and there's quite a lot of people saying the same thing so I'm trying not to worry about that and um, so yeah they were like my symptoms in the two week wait and then I got my positive on Monday Monday the 10th, that was it? Monday the 13th, yeah. I got my positive. Um, and then yesterday actually, so yeah, yesterday I was four weeks, oh, I'm four weeks and five days today. Yesterday I was four weeks and four days. I got my first case of um, nausea um, with Isabel. I was only sick on three isolated occasions and I didn't feel sick any other time but those three times and it was until like I didn't get that till I was gone 12 weeks so I wasn't expecting to feel sick this early but I know like every pregnancy is different so yeah yesterday I was it was um breakfast time and like I I was hungry as well which is another thing that like probably contributed to me feeling sick so I made myself a bowl of cereal but um, I just had like a big wave of nausea and um, yeah just felt like I was going to be sick and it took me a really long time to like push myself to eat this bowl of cereal um, without being sick but thankfully that did pass after I'd eaten um, and I haven't felt sick today so yeah we'll see how things go with that but yeah I hope I'm not, I hope I do as well as I did last time with Isabel, with only being sick three times because I don't do well with sickness and obviously I've got a child to look after already, she's only in nursery for two and a half hours a day so yeah, fingers crossed I won't be too sick in this pregnancy <clears throat> but yeah, those are all the symptoms that I've been having in the two week wait and up until now um, I will be doing I do want to do like weekly updates but like if nothing much is going on especially in the, like the first trimester I might try to just make videos when I have more things to say um but yeah I am pregnant I'm going by my last period the first day of my last period which was the 13th of April 2019 I am due the 19th of January 2020 so um yeah obviously that will be confirmed in my 12 week scan but that is what i've worked out at the moment but yeah we shall see so yeah i will be making another video soon as well about like my trying to conceive journey because it was actually it's actually been my first time going through the process of trying to conceive because isabel was um wasn't a planned pregnancy and that seemed to happen so easily um, and then when we were planning it it didn't happen quite so easily but I think that is always the case isn't it but um yeah so I will be making like a trying to conceive journey and things I use or what we did to get a, a positive result but yeah until then I will leave you there because this video is dragging on a little bit and I will see you again in my next video thank you for watching bye